It never, it never ceases to amaze me how fucking naive you guys are. This isn't going to be fun, guys. If it's fun, I, I miss the mark. I miss the mark. In no shape, manner, or form am I going to try to be uh, uh, putting forth information where uh, any shades of you liking me come out. Again, if that happens, I, did, I didn't do my job. And when you say good morning to me, I still remember because I'm a combat trained army officer. Good morning, Captain. Good morning, Sergeant. Good morning. What the fuck's good about it, Pina? You're the sorriest fucking excuse for a soldier in this man's fucking army. You fucking cunt Mexican. So whenever I hear you say good morning, I get flashbacks to that. And when I go on to talk about what the word nice, the derivative of the word nice is, nice day, you may never use that fucking word again. So your whole background, your whole social and economic milieu is significantly different than mine. And all these guys up here, and it's sad that I have to have you fucking cunts sit so close to my wall of influencers. Because there's nothing about you like them other than we got Muhammad up there. Okay. Um, for the YouTubers, and for you, those of you that watch me diligently, uh, more or less, we have 15 or so minutes every morning for uh, the YouTubers, and we have them 15 minutes after lunch, and we have 15 uh, minutes at the close of the day, plus we have some other uh, uh, intermittent uh, experiences. Um, we're going to talk about the things that I gave you to read last night, and we're going to talk about the movies that you saw and the little skits um, after um, we go through a, a few of the initial slides. And I give an introduction first before I actually start the seminar, uh, which has parts of what I just did when I was doing through my ranting and raving. Uh, I, I use the Imperial March, as I said last night, because I am the fucking Darth Vader of this industry. As far as I can tell, I'm one of the only few people that are actually a high-performance coach. I'm not a life coach. I'm not a success coach. I'm not a business coach. I'm none of those fucking things. None of them. And as I said sarcastically, and I don't want a bunch of YouTubers emailing me what a life coach does. I don't know what the fuck a life coach does. I have no idea. And I'm, I, I, I'm not interested in learning at my stage in my life. Okay. When I first gave my first seminar 22 years ago, a couple of years thereafter, the, um, the, a couple of the guys on the Hall of Fame said that this is what I was. And uh, this is the... Uh, Guthrie, Wealth, Icus, Maximus. And that's how I used to treat the seminar attendees. In those days, I hit him. One of you stupidest idiots said that he hoped that he got hit uh, uh, last night. And um, considering he weighs about 100 pounds, I, I, I think that that's why it shows you how stupid he is. For a 220 pound guy to hit a 100 pound guy, it would probably be criminal. But you don't go to jail for hitting people in this country. So just remember that this is Scotland. This is the land of brave heart. Sir William Wallace. And Sir William Wallace, Squire Guthrie, in 1306, left our broth to go to Calais to bring Willie Wallace back to fight the fucking English. So we have a deep heritage of hitting people, cutting people, and the Guthries rode through the countryside with a Bible in one hand and a fucking sword in the other to cut your fucking heat off. So don't w ask me to hit you. I am the fifth horseman of the apocalypse. I am the devil. My challenge is how soon in the seminar do I get somebody to cry? My challenge is how soon do I get somebody to piss his pants? My challenge is how soon I get somebody to shit themselves, which I've done. My challenge is how soon one of you cunts passes out, which I've done. That's my challenge. 
then I know I'm hitting it on 12 cylinders. This is the Quantum Leap Advantage Seminar for High Performance People. It's obviously presented by me. Yes, I do have a title with the castle. But it's more the psychology of the high performer. The first two or three days, as a, a, an old retired woman said about 10 or 12 years ago, where's the beef, Mr. Pennant? Where's the beef? What she was asking me is, how do I get the fucking money? In a very nice lady-like way. We don't talk about how to get the fucking money because that's the easiest part until the end of the seminar. Because one of the great myths, other than I'm from the government and I'm here to help you, is there's a shortage of money. There has never been a shortage of money. There has never been a shortage of money. And I would strongly recommend that you take fucking notes because if you ask me a stupid question, you're gonna be in fucking trouble. See, you've already paid me the money so I can throw you out. And the mentor program is for free so I can throw you out. So do now what you didn't do in school. Take notes. We are going to have the mental borders disappear. Most of you are not more successful. Well, we're going to get into the parents. And, uh, but most of you are more successful because you live in a box. And there's an old cliche, live out, get outside the box. We're going, to, we're going to transcend that a long time. But there are no borders. None of these guys, in, in a prime example of this, my buddy Donald Trump, who is leading the polls uh, in uh, American uh, Republican politics, why do you think a guy who sounds very much like me is leading the polls because the Americans are fed up? Why do you think the guy that just won uh, the head of the Labor Party here won? The people are fed up. The people are so fed up with the bullshit. They're so fed up with the political correctness. They can't stand it anymore. So we've got a black doctor and we've got Trump leading the, uh, uh, the Republican uh, uh, race. We're going we're gonna to dispel those myths, and there's going to be no borders. And we're going to give you a divergent way of thinking, and we're going to talk more about the three alternative method of thinking, three alternatives. We get into it in depth. The whole weekly report is based upon three alternative and you don't even know what I'm talking about, but you're going to know later on in the seminar. But the bottom line is almost everybody in this room has the answer to their problems. Not everybody, but almost everybody. And 95% of the time, if you think through it and you put down three alternatives, you'll come up with the right answer. And normally the first answer you come up with is the wrong answer. The second answer that you come up with is the wrong answer. And the third answer is probably the right answer. And the reason why the third answer is probably the right answer is because it's the one most outside your comfort zone. We're going to maximize your potential. Now, some of you in this room are well-educated. Some of you in this room are not educated. Doesn't make any difference to me. And for the Hall of Fame that you're sitting in front of, you guys uh, and Ting, those guys go from zero, being thrown out of school at 14, to dual degree, Harvard educated, and everything in between. And the guy that has the thrown out of school at 14, and he, uh, uh, we also have O-level. People know what O-levels, the, the Brits, O-levels. Well, he has a one O-level in joinery. That means he's a carpenter, and then he got thrown out of school. And he did a 400 million deal. The Harvard guy created a billion dollars. So most of you would settle for 400 million pounds today Pack your fucking bag and go home. You wouldn't take the risk of wasting 20 years making another 600 million. I know. People ask me, why do people drop out of the program? The last program, the last October seminar program, started with the same amount of people, 18. The end of the year, after the one year of uh, mentoring, by me, nine people in it. Half dropped out. Some th I got, th got thrown out by me, some dropped out, but some dropped out because they realized that they had, already, they had already accomplished their goals in less than a year. So why get beat up for, with, by Dan for six more months if I already accomplished my goals? Everybody in here that comes here, I want to be a billionaire. I want to be the first trillionaire. I want they make five million quid and they fucking run like fucking dogs in the night. 
You cunts don't know what five million pounds is. For most of your lives, 100,000 pounds have changed your life. You talk this shit. You don't know. And I remember every fucking word you say. And I will remind you. And I don't take notes. The whole thing about this seminar is to be all you can be. Not be part of what you can be. Not to be a fraction. And this is the only religious thing I say, and some people won't connote it as being religious. But who, however we got here, whether it was Big Bang Theory or whatever, I believe we were put here to be all we can be. Not a fraction thereof. Most of you are not a decimal of what you could be. And I know the potential. Because I've seen people just fucking cruddy shitbags do stuff that is unimaginable. You wouldn't imagine. You can't imagine. Sally, who's been, you know, been, been around a long, long time and seen me operate, uh, she, she can't believe sometimes. And a number of the, the Hall of Famers were at my party a couple months ago, and they mingled with the, the, the current shit bags, and uh, th they think the quality of shit is going down. The quality of manure is lessening from what, in the good old days. And I have to agree with them. You're not the men and women that have sat in the seats before you. Not even close. And for those of you that are millennials, and we got a lot of them in here, I feel sorry for you. Doesn't mean I won't work with you. Doesn't mean I, I can't make you something that you never thought you could be. My speciality is getting... You, lard ass, to be what you want to be by doing what you don't want to fucking do. To be what you want to be by doing what you don't want to fucking do. That's my speciality in life. And I don't give a fuck if you hate me, stick pins in dolls of, uh, that look like me or don't look like me. I don't give a shit. It doesn't make any difference. Because I am maybe the only person that you've ever met in your whole life that doesn't give a shit what you think of me. And I haven't since I'm a teenager and I have, you know, I went to my 50 year reunion, high school reunion a couple of three years ago and they, and they, I didn't get uh, uh, most likely to succeed and those kind of awards that they give out. What they say is Dan has done more with le the least of any human being in this class. More with the least. And see, that would hurt your feelings, you little cunts. That would hurt your feelings. Because your mommy and daddy have told you you can be whatever you want to be, which is all horseshit. Everybody know what that means? When I go like that, means that's it's like masturbating. Because you can't be whatever you want to be, you little cunts. That's all bullshit. And your parents did you a fucking disservice by telling you that. Oh, by the way, Joe Batten, my former partner who's up here, who's a mentor of Ross Perot, came up with Be All You Can Be when he came up, when the United States Army went from conscription to volunteer, he wanted to suck the kids into the vortex. So he said, Be All You Can Be, join the U.S. Army. You can quit to, to quit, to give up, to surrender is to fail. And nobody in here is going to quit on me. You've already quit enough times in your life. And on that happy note, YouTubers, go fuck yourself.